finite math. Solve a system of linear inequalities. First, we're going to review graphing a linear inequality, and then we're going to solve a system of linear inequalities by graphing. As you go through the video, on the top left, you're going to notice some icons. The first icon you'll notice is the process. We'll talk about how to do it. Have some examples. You get to practice a little self quiz and then a video task. Remember, it's not magic, it's math. So let's get started. Let's review graphing a linear inequality. We're going to graph y is greater than or equal to x plus 3. The first thing we want to do is rewrite it with an equal sign. I like to write y equals mx plus b right underneath it because right away I can see that my slope is 1. Remember, slope has to be rise over 1. Remember, slope is rise over run, so I wrote it as a fraction. My y-intercept is 3. The first thing we do is we graph the y-intercept at 3. Then we follow our slope. We're going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1 to find our line. But before we find, but before we graph the line, we have to decide, is it a solid line or is it a dotted line? And to do that, we look at our original inequality. The original inequality is greater than or equal to, so we're going to graph a solid line. Now, we must decide which half plane to shade. The solution set will either be the half, of the, the half plane above the line or the half plane below the line. We choose a test point that is not on the line. That's really important. A good test point is the origin 0, 0, unless the origin happens to be on the line. Since 0, 0 is not on the line, we're going to use 0, 0 as a test point. What we do is we put 0 in for x and 0 in for y. 0 plus 3 is 3. Now we have to decide, is 0 greater than or equal to 3? Is that true? Well, no, it's not true. That means we do not shade this side with 0, 0. We actually shade the other side. Now, let me prove to you that every ordered pair in the shaded region is true, and every ordered pair in the other region is not true. I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick just any ordered pair in the shaded region, and I decided to pick negative 4, 4. Since it's in the shaded region, it should be true. So let's test it. I'm going to put negative 4 in for x and 4 in for y into the inequality. So 4, negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Now we have to decide. Is 4 greater than or equal to negative 7? Why, yes it is. And it better be because it's in the shaded region. Now let's randomly pick an ordered pair that's in the other region. I decided to pick 7, 1. Now, 7, 1 should not be true because it's not in our shaded region. So let's check it. I'm going to put 7 in for x and 1 in for y. 7 minus 3 is 4. Is 1 greater than or equal to 4? No, that's not true. And that's good because it's not in our shaded region. Now it's your turn to try. I'd like you to graph this inequality y is less than 2x minus 4. When you're ready, plus play and we'll check it together. Let's graph it. The first thing we're going to do is change the inequality to an equal sign. And now it's ready for our slope intercept form. My slope is 2, but I have to write it as rise over run, so I wrote it as a fraction 2 over 1. My y-intercept is negative 4. We always graph the y-intercept first, so I'm going to put a dot at negative 4. We're going to follow our slope, so we're going to rise 2, run 1, and rise to run 1. But now this is where it changes. We have to decide, is it going to be a solid or a dotted line? And to do that, we look at our original inequality. Our original inequality is less than, so it's going to be a dotted line. Now we must decide which half plane to shade. The solution set will either be the half plane above the line or below the line. To do this, we like to pick a test point. And if we can, we pick 0, 0, as long as it's not on the line. Let's rewrite our inequality. We're going to put 0 in for x and 0 in for y. 2 times 0 is 0, so 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Now, let's look at the inequality. Is 0 less than negative 4? Is that true? Nope, it's not true. 
So that means we do not shade the side with zero, zero. We actually shade the other side. Let's look at this one. Pick the correct inequality graph. We have 5x plus y is less than or equal to 2. When I look at these, the first thing I like to check is that they're all solid lines because we have the inequality less than or equal to. And A has a solid line, B has a solid line, and C has a solid line, so that doesn't help us. Next, we're going to pick a test point. And like I said, we like to pick a test point that's not on the line, like 0, 0. But the only problem with that is when I look at these three graphs, 0, 0 is in the shaded region. So even if I did 0, 0 as a test point, it'll show up true. And then which one do I pick? I don't know. So then I ask myself, is there one graph that has a region shaded that the other graphs do not? Let's look at A, B, and C. Do you notice that C is the only graph that has a shaded piece up to the left? So what I decided to do was pick a test point in that shaded region. I decided to do negative 5, 8. Now when I put it into my inequality, if it's true, then C is my answer. If it's not true, then I have to go back and pick A or B, and then pick a different test point. But let's try this one first. I'm going to put negative 5 in for x and 8 in for y. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Negative 25 plus 8 is negative 17. Is negative 17 less than or equal to 2? It sure is. So guess what? C happens to be our answer. How do I know that? Negative 5, 8 is in the shaded region, makes it true. But if I look at B, negative 5, 8 is not in that shaded region and negative 5, 8 is not in the shaded region for A. So yep, C is our answer. System of linear inequalities. A system of linear inequalities is a set of two or more linear inequalities containing two or more variables. The solution of a system of linear inequalities consists of all ordered pairs that satisfy all the linear inequalities in the system. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Basically, we're going to graph both inequalities and figure out which region they're true at the same time. Now the shaded region is our solution, but to check it, we actually have four regions. We have one, two, three, four. We're going to check each region for the ordered pair that makes both inequalities true. Since we already know the shaded region is our answer, I'm going to pick a test point in there and 0, 0 is a perfect test point. Now remember, 0, 0 has to be true for both inequalities at the same time. So let's check our first inequality. x minus 4y is greater than or equal to negative 8. I'm going to put 0 in for x and 0 in for y. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 8? Yes, it is. So it works for our first inequality, but we have to check the second inequality. 2x plus y is less than or equal to 6. We're going to put 0 in for x and 0 in for y. Is 0 less than or equal to 6? That's also true. So that shows that region 3 is our solution. Graph the solution to the system of inequalities. Let's do this one together. We're going to graph y is less than 2 thirds x plus 1 and y is greater than 3x minus 2. Then we're going to test each region with an ordered pair. When the ordered pair makes both of the inequalities true, that is our solution. So let's graph first. y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. Remember, we change the inequality to an equal sign. It's perfect because it's in slope intercept form. So my slope is 2 thirds and my y intercept is 1. So let's graph 1 as the y intercept. The slope, we go up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3. Now we have to decide, is it solid or is it dotted? Well, I know it's dotted because I look at my original inequality. It's less than. And I labeled it. Let's graph the second one. y equals 3x minus 2. Remember, we're changing the inequality to an equal sign. This one is also in slope-intercept form. So my slope is 3. We're going to write it as a fraction for rise over run. And our y-intercept is negative 2. We're going to graph negative 2 first. Then we're going to go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. 
is the line solid or dotted? Well, it's going to be solid because I look at my inequality. It's greater than or equal to. And we're going to make a solid line. Now we have to figure out where is our solution region. We have region 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's just start with region 1. I picked the test point 6, 7. Let's look at our first inequality. I'm going to put 6 in for x and 7 in for y. This gives me 7 is less than 4 plus 1, and 7 is less than 5. Is that true? Is 7 less than 5? No, that's not true. So region 1 is not the solution. Let's go to region 2. Let's pick an ordered pair in region 2. So I picked 6, negative 4. Let's try the first inequality. y is less than 2 thirds x plus 1. I'm going to put 6 in for x and negative 4 in for y. I'm going to get negative 4 is less than 4 plus 1. Is negative 4 less than 5? Yeah, that's true. But remember, the ordered pair has to work for both of the inequalities. So we need to check the second one. y is greater than 3x minus 2. We're going to put 6 in for x and negative 4 in for y. This gives us negative 4 is greater than or equal to 18 minus 2. Is negative 4 greater than 16? That's not true. And it only takes one not true for that region to not be our answer. Let's look at region 3. I've decided to pick 0, 0. It's in region 3. We're going to put 0 in for x and 0 in for y for our first inequality. This gives us 0 is less than 0 plus 1. Well, 0 plus 1 is 1. Is 0 less than 1? Yeah, that is true. But we have to check the second inequality. y is greater than or equal to 3x minus 2. We put 0 in for x and 0 in for y. 0 is greater than or equal to 0 minus 2. Well, is 0 greater than or equal to negative 2? Yeah, that is true. So guess what? Region 3 is our solution region. That means any ordered pair I pick in region 3 will make both inequalities true. Let's do this one. Grab the solution to the system of inequalities. I have x minus y is less than or equal to negative 5. x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 4. Let's graph the first one. x minus y equals negative 5. Now we have a little problem right away that it's not in slope intercept form. And slope intercept form makes our life so much easier. I'm going to subtract x from both sides and then divide everything by negative 1. And that gives us slope intercept form. y equals mx plus b. My slope is 1, so I'm going to write it as a fraction for rise over run. My y-intercept is 5, so let's graph it. I'm going to put a dot at 5 on the y-axis. That's my y-intercept. Now I'm going to follow my slope. I'm going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Now I have to decide, is it solid or dotted? Now in this case, it's going to be solid because I have less than or equal to. So let's draw a solid line. Let's look at the second inequality. We're going to change that to an equal sign, x plus 2y equals 4. We're going to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides and then divide everything by 2. y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. Slope intercept form. That is so awesome. That means our slope is negative 1 half and our y intercept is 2. We're going to graph the y intercept first at 2. Then our slope, we're going to go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. We have to decide, is it solid or dotted? And to do that, we have to look back at our original inequality. Well, it's greater than or equal to, so it's going to be solid. Next, we have to figure out which region is our solution set. Let's label our regions. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to pick an ordered pair in region 1 and I decided to do 4, 4. I'm going to take our first inequality and I'm going to put 4 in for x and 4 in for y. 4 minus 4 is 0. Is 0 less than or equal to negative 5? That's not true. So region 1 is not the solution. Let's look at region 2. I picked the ordered pair 0, 0. I'm going to put 0 in for x and 0 in for y. 0 minus 0 is 0. Is 0 less than or equal to negative 5? That's not true either, so region 2 is not our solution. Let's look at region 3. For this one, I decided to use the ordered pair negative 5, 3. 
I'm going to put negative 5 in for x and 3 in for y into the first inequality. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. Is negative 8 less than or equal to negative 5? That's true. Okay. But now we have to check the second inequality. I'm going to put negative 5 in for x and 3 in for y. Negative 5 plus 6 is less than or equal to negative 5. Is 1 less than or equal to negative 5? No, that's not true. At this point, region 4 is our solution, but let's just check it anyway. I decided to use the test point 0, 9. I'm going to put 0 in for x and 9 in for y into the first inequality. This gives me negative 9 is less than or equal to negative 5. True. Now, let's put it into the second inequality. I have 0 plus 2 times negative 9 is less than or equal to 4. Is negative 18 less than or equal to negative 5? Yeah, it is. And we kind of already knew that, right? So our solution region is region 4. Here's one for you to try. So you're going to graph the solution to the system of inequalities. Let's see how you did. x minus 3y is greater than or equal to negative 3. First thing we have to do is put an equal sign and then solve for y. Remember, slope-intercept form is going to make our lives so much easier. I'm going to subtract x from both sides and divide everything by negative 3. My slope turns out to be 1 third and my y-intercept is 1. Let's graph the y-intercept. I'm going to put a dot at 1. Now, I'm going to follow my slope, so I'm going to go up 1 over 3 and up 1 over 3. Next, I have to decide, is it a solid or a dotted line? This one's going to be a solid line because I look at my inequality. It's greater than or equal to. Let's do the second inequality. First, we change it to an equal sign. We're going to solve for y. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and we end up with y equals negative 2x plus 4. My slope is negative 2, but I have to write it as rise over run, a fraction. So we get negative 2 over 1. My y-intercept is 4. Let's graph the y-intercept first, so I put a dot at 4 on the y-axis. Now I'm going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. I have to decide, is it a solid line or a dotted line? Now in this case, it's also a solid line because it's less than or equal to. Last but not least, where is our solution region? Let's label our regions. One, two, three, four. Let's pick an ordered pair in region one. I picked three, five. I'm gonna pick my first inequality. I'm gonna put three in for x and five in for y. I end up with negative 12 is greater than or equal to negative 3. That's not true. So guess what? Region 1 is not our answer. Let's look at region 2. For region 2, I picked 7, 0. I'm going to put 7 in for x and 0 in for y. This gives us 7 minus 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3. Is 7 greater than or equal to negative 3? That's true. But remember, we have to check the second inequality. I'm going to put 7 in for x and 0 in for y. This gives us 14 is less than or equal to 4. Is that true? That's not true. So region 2 is not our answer either. Let's look at region 3. I'm going to pick 0, 0 as my test point. I'm going to use the first inequality. I'm going to put 0 in for x, 0 in for y. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 3? That's true. Let's try the second inequality. 2x plus y is less than or equal to 4. I'm going to put 0 in for x, 0 in for y. Is 0 less than or equal to 4? That's true. So region 3 is our solution region. Here's another one for you to try. You're going to uh, pause the video, do this, and then press play to check. Let's see how you did. We have y is less than 2x minus 4 and we have y is less than or equal to 4x minus 4. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it an equal sign. Now it's already in slope-intercept form, so that makes our lives easier. Our slope is going to be 2 over 1, rise over run, and our y-intercept is negative 4. I'm going to put a dot at negative 4. I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Now I have to decide, is it solid or is it dotted? Now for this one, it's going to be dotted because I look at my inequality, it's less than. Let's look at the second one. y is less than or equal to 4x minus 4. We put in an equal sign, and it's already in slope-intercept form. Makes our life easier. Our slope is 4, so we're going to write 4 over 1, 
for rise over 1. My y-intercept is negative 4. Let's graph negative 4, our y-intercept. Now we're going to go up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1. Is this going to be solid or dotted? Well, this one is going to be solid. Now we have to figure out which region is our answer. Is it 1, 2, 3, that little piece on the end there, or 4? For region 1, I picked 4, 7. Let's try the first inequality. I'm going to put 4 in for x and 7 in for y. This gives us 7 is less than 10. Is that true? That is true. Let's check the second inequality. I'm going to put 4 in for x and 7 in for y. This gives me 7 is less than or equal to 12. Is that true? It is true. So, whew, we found it right away. We would shade region 1. That's our solution set. All right, you get to do this one by yourself also. Pause the video, do it, and then press play to check. Let's see how you did. The first inequality is y is less than 2. When we put an equal sign there, we have y equals 2. That means that every ordered pair, y is always 2. So 1, 2, negative 4, 2, 0, 2, and so on. Let's graph it. Now we have to decide, is it solid or dotted? Now we have to decide, is it solid or dotted? Well, this one's going to be dotted because of our inequality. Let's look at x is greater than or equal to negative 3. This means that x is always negative 3. So we can have negative 3, 4, negative 3, 0, negative 3, 5, anything that negative 3 is the x value. Let's graph it. Now we have to decide, is it solid or dotted? Well, this one's going to be solid because it's greater than or equal to. Now we have to figure out which region is our solution set. Is it region 1, 2, 3, or 4? Let's pick an order pair in region 1. I picked 4, 4. Let's put 4 in for y. Is 4 less than 2? No, so it's not region 1. Let's pick an ordered pair in region 2. I pick 0, 0. Let's put 0 in for y. Is 0 less than 2? Yeah, it is. Next, we have x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Well, our x value is 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 3? That is also true. So region 2 is our solution set. Here's the self-quiz. You're going to graph the solution set of the following system of linear inequalities. 4x plus 5y is less than 10, and x minus 4y is greater than 8. You're going to pause the video, complete the questions, or question, then press play to check the answers. The whole idea behind a self-quiz is not to look back at your notes. If you have to look back at your notes, that's what you have to practice. As we go through the solution, if you get any piece wrong, that's what you need to practice too. All right, pause the video, and then press play when you're ready. Let's see how you did. So we have 4x plus 5y is less than 10. We're going to put an equal sign there. I need to solve for y because we want slope-intercept form. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides and then divide everything by 5. This gives us y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 2. Slope-intercept form. My slope is negative 4 fifths and the y-intercept is 2. We always graph the y-intercept first, so I'm going to put a dot on the y-axis at 2. My slope is negative 4 over 5, so I'm going to go down 4 over 5 and down 4 over 5. Is it going to be a solid or a dotted line? Well, in this case, it's going to be a dotted line because I look back at my inequality. It's less than. Let's do the second one. x minus 4y is greater than 8. We're going to put in an equal sign. Now we have to solve for y. I'm going to subtract x from both sides and then divide everything by negative 4. This gives us y equals 1 fourth x minus 2. Slope intercept form. My slope is 1 fourth and my y intercept is negative 2. We always graph the y intercept first, so I'm going to put a dot at negative 2 on the y axis. My slope is 1 over 4, so I'm going to go up 1 over 4, up 1 over 4. Now I have to decide, is it solid or dotted? Well, this one is also going to be dotted because it's greater than. Let's figure out which region is our solution region. 1, 2, 3, or 4. Since you've already done this, 
You already know that it's not region one and it's not region two. You already know that it's region three. So I'm gonna pick the order pair zero, negative four. I'm gonna put zero in for x and negative four in for y. This gives us negative 20 is less than 10. True. We have to check the second inequality. So I'm gonna put zero in for x, negative four in for y, and we notice that 16 is greater than eight, and yep, region three is our solution. Practice, practice, practice. Even if your teacher says that the homework doesn't count for your grade, you have to do it because the only way you get good at it is practicing. Did you like this video? Well, like it, of course. Did you really like it? Why not subscribe? Did it help you? Share it with a friend. Remember, it's not magic, it's just math.